Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful cow caftan with placket, as you can see right there, front and back. So this cow caftan, as you can see, is looking so, so gorgeous and beautiful. It's something you can use for any occasion of your choice, gorgeous and prestigious, as you can see, okay? So right now, we'll be jumping into this class without wasting much time this is actually a cow abaya kaftan as you can see but here it has beautiful designs okay so we tried making it uh, look beautiful so if this is what you want to learn please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you welcome back to same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial in this class, I'll be showing you how to sew this trendy bubu cow kaftan. You are seeing right there on the thumbnail. So right here, I'm making use of three yards of my uh, scuba fabric. So this is a quality scuba. It's not all that too stretchy. It's a thick, somehow thick, but little stretchy. Okay, so you can also use a um, shining jersey. Is a new fabric you can also use scuba you can use lacra to sew this okay to have that cow effect so I have three yards here and I'm working with another scuba fabric of one yard I just want to make a little combination okay on the neckline as you can see right there on the thumbnail so to begin this tutorial we are going to first create a uh, placket okay so in creating my placket right now i have um, my fabric i'm going to place my fabric on fold on one side okay so i'll just place it on fold this way and i'll be determining the part that is our center front okay so I'm just trying to place it on fold right now. So actually this fabric, you might not really use um, the whole of uh, one yard for it. You can even make use of half yard, but to be at the safer side, I'll advise you get yourself a yard if you're making a combination like I'm making. But if you're not making a combination, if you're using the same fabric, you can get yourself four yards of scuba fabric so you'll be able to uh, have the placket or three and a half. So here I'm creating the border line. So this part is on fold. So on this part now, I'm going to place my tape and I'm going to measure it. All right. So after making my border line, I've actually made some lines and I'm going to explain to you what I did right here. So here is my border line which I just made after folding my fabric so I believe you are seeing the line okay so my fabric here is on fold as you can see now I'll place my tape on the border line I made and I'm going to measure my back length my back length is 15 I added one inch to it so whatever your back length is add one inch to it so the one inch I added is to stitch half an inch up and half an inch down okay because this placket i want it to rest at my back length so if you want it longer than your back length you can add two inches or as you desire okay so it depends on where you want the placket to be so i just want this placket to be at my back length so my back length like i earlier said is 15 and i took 16. So after I did that at 16, I ruled a line at that 16 inches. You can see my line right here. On this line, I measured three and a half inches. Okay, three and a half inches. I made a mark. And on this line, I measured eight inches and I made a mark. Then I'm going to rule this line. Okay, so you can see me. I rule this line up to this point. Okay. So, I'm going to cut out what I have right here. I'm going to cut out. So, I'm cutting out my back 
placket. This is going to serve as my back placket. So before I go ahead to cut, I'm going to make the neckline for the back. So for my neckline right now, from the folded edge, I'm going to measure four, uh, three and a half. Please, three and a half. So I mark my three and a half as my neckline. And what is left from my eight inches is four and a half. Okay. So this one and a half, that is what we are going to use to cut our front placket. Okay. So now the width of my neckline, I'm making use of one inch for the width. So this is one inch for the width and I'm going to connect with my pattern curve. So the normal way you uh, connect with your pattern curve, you just go ahead and connect with your pattern curve. So right here, I'll just do my normal slope, shoulder slope. So my shoulder slope here, I will not go too much. I'm using half an inch because this part i will still slant it when we are going to cut the other uh, part so i just used half an inch okay just a little slope from that point half an inch so i'm going to cut what i have so please ensure you have your pins so i'll just pin it down now so coming over to the front right now i've already placed my fabric on fold as you can see so fabric is on fold. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to start marking out the front placket. So I'll just make a border line also. So once I've done, I've made my border line. Next I will do is to take the length of my placket. Well, first of all, the width of this placket, remember for the front, we are going to attach this placket on this width. So, I'll just take the measurement of what I have on the placket, uh, on the shoulder line here. Like I told you, it's four and a half. So, I'll just measure four and a half. So that by the time we sew half an inch, we have four inches as a placket. So, from this point, I'm going to measure the length of this placket. So, I really want this placket to be under my bust. Okay, this is my under bust at uh, 14. Then I'll just add 2 inches to it. So I'll be able to sew, um, I will be able to sew in the up and the down. Or you can even add 3 inches. So it depends on where you want it to be. So I take the measurement again. From the shoulder line, I have 14 inches. That is if you want this to be on your under bust. For me, I want it to be below my under bust, okay? So, let me do 16 inches, which I marked already. That is where the placket is going to be, at 16 inches. So, the width of this placket is 4 and a half, okay? For up and for down. So, I'll just make a mark and I'll connect it with a straight line, as you can see right here. So, I will now go ahead and pin. So make sure you pin. I will pin and cut. So I'm cutting two times of it. So I'll first cut this one, place it on the other part and cut as well. So I'll just go ahead and cut my... So I'll bring it back on this and I'll place it here. Then I'll cut once again. Alright, so we are done with this. So I'll just take off my pins. This will be on the front 
uh, neckline. So this um, front neckline, the folded edge is going to form the neckline. So our placket is going to overlap this way. Okay, once we we sew it, this and this is going to overlap to form that V um, V neckline. All right, so my back is ready, and you can see how we cut it, and my front is ready in two pieces, as you can see. So I'm going to set it aside. So next, we want to do is to come with our main fabric. So this is three yards of scuba fabric, like I earlier said. So I'm going to fold it by two. So if I fold it by two, I will have one and half, one and half, okay? So I folded it by two, as you can see right here. So once I fold it by two, having one and a half, I'll fold it again to get my center front. So I folded it again to get my center front. So this is my center front and this is my center back. So we are, we are going to start marking out the cow on this dress. So right now I folded it um, again and this is my center front for back and front is on fold. Okay. So I mark my border line and from this border line it will serve as my shoulder. And I'm going to measure from that point to my waist line. So you can see the mark I had for my waistline. My waist is 29. So I've already marked it at 29. Okay. So from the shoulder, once again, the when you fold it another the second time, you will have 26 inches. Okay, so that will serve as the sleeve length. So at this sleeve length of um, of 26 inches point. I'm going to step down from here by one and a half. So I step down by one and a half. And I'm going to connect this all the way to the neckline. So my neckline here, remember the neckline we used was three and a half. So I'll just connect it to form the cow. So from here, I'll just position my uh, ruler to that point. Can you see that? So that will serve as a shoulder slope. So now I'm going to come back to the hip. So on the hip line, I'll step up on the hip line to connect the cow. But before I connect that cow, I'm going to take the measurement of my hip circumference, divide by four. So my hip circumference divide by four. I'm working with 12 and a half. Okay, I'm working with 12 and a half. And on this 12 and a half, I'm going to add 3 inches. So my hip circumference divided by 4, I added 3 inches to it. So I'll come all the way to the hem. I'll also do the same thing. On the hem, I'll measure my hip circumference divided by 4. And I'll add 3 inches to it. So at this point of three inches, I'm going to rule a straight line from the, I'm ruling my straight line from that hip line. I'll just make a straight line going over to the hem. Okay. So once that is done, the next thing I will do from this hip line, I'll step up by three inches. Okay. And then I'll draw a straight line of three inches. So at this point, I'll just connect the cow. Okay, so from these three inches, I came out on a straight line. So I measure another three inches. And then from there, I'll just connect the cow. You know how we do that. I'll connect the cow. And then... I'll come over from that three inches again to another three inches here to another three inches mark or let me say two inches. I'll just connect the cow design. Okay, 
to the hair. So right there and then, I'm going to cut what we had before we proceed. So I'm going to cut the cow design first. Okay, but um, I will also, let me cut the cow design then. We can now separate them for front and back. So I'm cutting now on the shoulder line. So once I get to the shoulder line, please make sure you hold it down with your feet. I'll just go ahead and cut it this way. Then I'll come over to the cow part of it. I'll just go ahead. Okay, so I just want to start from somewhere here to form the cow. So the cow falls well for us. Okay. I just need the cow to form well. Okay, so this is the cow uh, shape. I will not take it from there to the hem. I will take it from there to the hem on a straight course. done and I'll be showing you uh, the cow design so you can see the cow design right here so it went all this way to the sleeve okay so remember your on your waistline your waist divide by four add three inches to it and you come up by three inches to connect your cow shape so I'm going to separate this front and back we'll work on the back and then work on the front so now i've separated my um uh, the two so this is the back i want to work with so i'll bring back my my placket and i'll place it center front to center front okay so i'll secure it with my pin right now on the center front line okay so once i've secured this i'll just go ahead and mark out this line okay i'll mark out um this line just this eight eight inches then i'm going to measure what i have from here to here from here to here is eight inches i'll transfer it on this line i'll transfer it on this line eight inches and i'm going to draw a straight line on that line okay so this is going to be where we are going to have our gathers or our pleats. So I'll just take off my pins and take off. So I've gotten what I want right here. So now, because we are going to sew uh, 0 0.5, I'll mark in 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So I'll just mark 0 0.5 in and out. And that is where I'm going to cut. So you come up by 0 0.5. So you'll be able to stitch accordingly. Okay. So I'm going to cut right now. So I'm cutting for the back. 
I'll cut here. Okay, so once I've cut at that point, then I'm going to make a notch here, okay? So it will be easy for us to sew in the back. So I'll make a notch at this point, can you see? So I'll gather on this line, gather, 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 and then our placket will be sewn on the side. So I'll set it aside, then I'll bring back the front. All right, so I've brought the front now. So we are supposed to co actually cut it together, okay? We are supposed to cut them together. So if you if you are cutting yours, please ensure you cut it together because I'm bringing it back now. For the front, I bring back what I have here. So it's the same thing um, we did for the front. We are going to do for the back because the... Placket, the placket we are using here is also the same. It's the same uh, measurement, 16, 16 inches, unless you are making a separate measurement, okay? So if your measurement is longer for the front, that is when you use the length of what you have here, okay, to measure the placket. But the width remains 8 inches because that is the width of this dress. So I'll just go ahead now and cut this way for the back. So now I'm cutting what I have for the front and back as the same because the length I have for the both plackets are the same. Okay. Then I'll also make a notch. I'll take away the back and also make my notch. Just a little 0 0.5 inch notch to enable you sew in. So we are done. We want to go sewing the plackets for front and back right away. So I will pick up the back first. Or let me sew the front first. So this is our front and this is the placket for the front. So you can see how they, we cut the placket. So I'll just go ahead now. First, I'm going to make my gathers because the front has gathers, the back has pleats. So if you are working on the front first, ensure you make your gathers first. So I'll go ahead now. I'll gather, gather the, this is the front. So I'll just go ahead and gather, gather, gather. So I'll make so now I'm done gathering, as you can see my gathers at the center line. So I bring in my, my placket now, and I'm going to sew the folded part will be on the center front. So I'll just go ahead, place it this way, the two plackets, and I'm going to sew from beginning till I get to this point. I'll do the same for these two. All right, so now I've joined the boots together. As you can see, I've joined them together. So I'm just going to top stitch right now. I'll flip the seams to the part of the fabric and I'll just run a top stitch on it so it lays nice and flat. So, all right, so now I'm done with my top stitches right now. So my two colors are laying flat now. So the next thing I'll do I'll cross. I'm done sewing my plackets right now. So on the right placket, this one, I'm going to measure three inches. From here to here, I'll mark three inches. From this center front, three inches. Okay. So I want you to pay attention to how I'm going to place this because as it stands now, you can see how it is. So I'm going to cross this this way. Can you see? I'll cross it. You can see how I placed it. You are you will place it in as if you are um, making the V neckline. Okay. So this is it. You just cross it this way and secure with your pin at that point. But make sure that the tip of this touches 
the tip of this touches the that three inches so i crossed it this way on the neck line and secure that neckline with my pin so you can see that so that is how you are going to sew it so i'll just go ahead now and i'm going to run my stitches i'll just run my stitches on this line all right so here i've sewn it so like i said you need to make it have that v you have to align it to have that v before you sew okay so i've sewn although my stitches went this way so but i'm going to lay this now you can see how i turned it the gathered parts remember you have a notch which will enable you to sew this so on this notch now i'm going to sew or gather more and sew this way so you can see how i'm going to sew it let me quickly do that all right people so you can see my gathers have been neatly sewn on the waistline okay so like i said you need to align this to have that v line okay before you stitch so if you, are, you align it when you are stitching you will not have your stitches straight because that part is not supposed to be straight you can see i have a stitch this part lay because it lays this way i have my stitch run here so that is not a problem we are using an applique okay so that's why you see that applique on the thumb nail of that dress applique sorry on the uh, part of that uh, um, uh, dress so now this part you can see we have our pin is laying like right there i'll also make a stitch and that will be covered by our applique too so i'll just use my pin now to hold it down first so we are done with the front next we are going to do now is to jump into the back so for the back i'll just come in with my back this is my back and i'll take off my pins so we the first thing we are going to do before we sew the back, um, before we sew back, is to make our pleats. So I'm going to run my, make my beautiful pleats right now. And I'm going to make it from center to center. Okay, I make a notch at the center. So whatever uh, I do here, I'll also do here now. Okay, so I'm going to make my pleats to be the exactly the measurement of what i have here here i have three and um, three and half so i'll make it seven inches that's three and half this way three and half this way let me do that now so here you should have seven inches okay so by the time you sew half an inch half an inch everything matches up so i'll just go ahead now i'll lay start sewing from beginning i'll sew from here to the end so i'm done sewing the neckline so the placket you can see it right here and i top stitched on it so once you top stitch every seam lays on this way and looks neat and beautiful for you so i'm going to sew in the pleats right now so to sew that i'll just take it this way as usual and i'll with the notch you have here you'll be able to sew and have a straight line so you can see that i just follow this line and stitch so I've sewn in the pleats right now on the lower piece. So this is the upper part of this dress and this is the lower part of this dress. You can actually make this, um, the placket shorter. Okay, if you want to have more pleats, you can make it shorter. Like mine here, I have uh, seven and a half, okay, or seven inches, but it's like I, I didn't stitch my 0 0.5 complete. So it's supposed to be seven inches, okay. So if you can make it six inches, if you want it smaller than this but at least you have an idea of what we are talking about so now the next thing i'll do is to place the front this is the front part of it i'll lay it this way and i'm going to sew from the neckline right here but first i'm going to create a facing so let me quickly face this before we proceed so to face this i'll just use um this same fabric to face i'll face it right side to 
right side and secure with my pins I want my facing at uh, three inches or three and a half. Let me just do three and a half to the point of this line. So I will lift up my fabric now and I'm going to cut at that three and a half I want my facing to be. I'll just go into the neckline. And once I get to the to this uh, joining. I'll also do what cut it out as a straight line. So I have my facing right now. So I'll just bring out this facing now and I'll match it up together, neckline to neckline. And the facing width here, the length is three and a half. So I'll just go ahead and do a curve at that three and a half, meeting the three and a half I have here. So the three and a half I have here, this is it at this point. So I'll just curve this like the facing we know. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now, open up the facing, sew it in, top stitch and and uh, make a notch now i've sewn in my uh, my facing and i top stitched and made notches to it so this is my facing you can actually use same fabric okay i even prefer you use same fabric for this for this facing but i use this so you'll be able to see the facing so i'll just go ahead and iron it this way so i don't need to see the facing so once i'm done ironing right now the next i will do is to bring in the front i'll bring in the front and this is the neckline i'll start to sew the neckline okay this is how it should be right side to right side and front right side to right side so from this point i have my facing i'm going to sew from this point can you see and flip my face in this way and run everything together so i would quickly do that to the end right now i've joined the shoulders together so this is what we have on the shoulder line as you can see right there so i will use my hemming gum to hold it here okay so it lays nice and flat for me or you can also fold and tack neatly okay anyway you can finish it up nicely so this is what the front looks like can you see so we'll be using our appliques applique right here i will top stitch here where i have my pin or i can tack and use my applique to cover up there so i will go over to the sleeves now for the sleeve i'll just open up five inches from here so i'll turn it to the back to the wrong side i'll measure five inches to pass my uh, my wrist Okay, so it won't be the wrist, sorry, because uh, we are making use of three as it won't get up to this point. It will be somewhere here. So I'll just take the measurement of what I have around my elbow line. So here I have 12 inches. So I'll measure 6 inches for my opening. So the two of them, one, when I pass my elbow, I have my 12 inches. So I'll sew it down to the end now and we are done with this class. So right now... I'm done sewing the sides and I've ironed it. You can see my sleeve. That is where I'm going to pass my sleeve, as you can see. So I've ironed everything, giving it a good press, as you can see. So this is my neckline. So on the neckline, on this part, I run a stitch. You can also run the stitch to the end. But because we are going to cover our appliques here, so I didn't even bother to go ahead running the stitch all through, as you can see. So this is the dress, and we are done. So you can increase your abaya, okay? That is the part of the cow. You can go down below the knee is your design. Sorry, below the hip. From the hip, I stepped up by three inches. You can connect to your hip. You can also connect below your hip. So it depends on how you want your drapes to drop. 
You can actually use three and a half uh, yards for this. You can use four yards, okay? If you want it to get to the wrist, you, you can make use of four yards. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming. See you in the next one. Bye.